Hello, everybody, and welcome back once again. Here we are with another edition of Inside the Headset, and we're on the Wednesday night, and I got with me the head coach of the Memphis Whitehaven Tigers, head coach Rodney Salisbury. How you doing tonight, coach? Hey, doing fine. How you doing? I'm doing great. Well, you're six and one in that last game. You played White Station, came away with a win, but uh, 17 to nothing. Uh, White Station hung right with you for a little bit. Talk a little bit about that game for the break. Oh, uh, it did. They um, White Station they came to the game playing really pretty well. Uh, they had been putting up a lot of points, and they had been playing well defensively. So uh, we were doing a good job, and we hung in there and fought well. Was able to get the shutout, was able to put enough points on the board to come out with the victory. That's good. That's good. How did your fall break go, Coach? Oh, it's going well. I mean, we're uh, getting some good work in. Uh, guys, we practiced yesterday, practice today. We'll practice again tomorrow. So we got some good work in. So we're excited about uh, development for this week. You got Germantown, and that's uh, Coach Tommy Farrell. And uh, came from Horn Lake, and uh, he's, he's, he's learning about a little bit about Germantown, but they're 2-6. and six. Talk about that game you got coming up Friday night. Uh, again, it's, uh, things have been going a little tough for Coach Farrell in his first year, but I know that he's going to get them on track, and I know they're going to be really excited and hyped uh, for that game. That's a game, a typical rivalry game for us in our region. Uh, so we're excited, and we know that they're going to come to play their best football next week when we get a chance to play. Uh, I caught a little something on Twitter about you had a couple of guys doing an unofficial visit over to uh, UT and uh, enjoyed themselves for the weekend. Could you uh, talk a little bit about some of them? players that may be just out visiting and looking at some of the colleges and those are some of your some of your uh, money guys oh yeah actually we had three guys they actually took their official visit to ut knox okay okay uh, took, uh, during that five week and we got and those same three guys again we got three of the top linebackers in the country uh we're just lucky to have those guys on the team uh, bryson easton martavis french and tamari mcdonald uh they'll be going on an official visit to arkansas this weekend together so uh again just taking the opportunity we got several other guys that are going on visits as well zion walker visited southern miss last week so i tell those guys to get out there and see these schools and see the colleges and start preparing for the next steps of your life while we finish and take care of business working on this season. Coach, we wish you the best of luck against Germantown. Anything you'd like to say about that that big, uh, the Haven uh, crowd, that group that rolls with you, that uh, that band, I tell you what, you, you got a good following. They're a solid group of people that stick with you. Uh, well, we truly have our homecoming of this week, and it oh. is a homecoming. We we haven't had a home game in so long. I mean, we since the second game of the season, we haven't played at home. So it's homecoming. We're looking for the fans to come out. We're looking for old alumni and student body to come out to come see the band, come see the cheerleaders, farm squad, and uh, celebrate homecoming. And, and we're excited about a big home game again, finally getting a chance to play back at home after several weeks on the road. Boy, if I was coming to that game, I know one thing. I'd find me something good. Oh, you definitely will. They'll be tailgating all day, and uh, they had a whole tiger walk and everything going on. So it'll be like a like a college homecoming. It's a very festive atmosphere. We're excited about what's going to go on this Friday. Coach, we wish you the best of luck, and I know I will talk to you again next week. You are six and one, and I expect you to be seven and one after Friday night. We'll talk then. All right, talk to you soon. See you, bye.